Hey guys, Sarge here with the April 10th, 1942 combat replay for my 1v1 against Invictus on War of the Pacific Admirals Edition. Uh, hopefully my bombers fly today. I should have about 180. Uh, he occupies Hang Yang because I left the hex. And hopefully I move Hudson's to Port Moresby because he had ships nearby. I'm hoping that I'll be able to get some hits there with them. Okay. ASW attack off the coast of Japan. Nothing happens. ASW off of Port Moresby. Ooh, we get five hits. Against the I-157. Onto the Air AM phase. Oh, bad weather. Come on. Ooh, this ain't good. Thunderstorms detected by radar. We are diving. At least one of the squadrons is. Cobra's getting some, some hits, some early hits on the zeros. Lose a kitty hawk early on as well. A second kitty hawk. Third. Shoot back, maybe. Fourth. I can't watch anymore. Jeez, I got slaughtered there. Two for a reported five. Bombing the suicided units with quite a few bombers. Air PM phase. Bombing Makassar. Okay, so that was a very quick air phase. It's only been just under four minutes. Land phase, and nothing happens in land phase either. Sydney expands forts, Townsville expands airfield, as well as Port Moresby and Trunk King. Nice base upgrades there. Probably get get me some nice victory points. Yep, and these are, those are some more refits. Get a couple of yard minesweepers. Second loyal battalion needs to get uh, replenished. And the bomb group was Banshees that railroaded into Calcutta this turn. So a lot of more subs spotted on Pearl Harbor right now. I am planning to have a heavy naval action once my April refits complete. 
That looks looking good. Laysan's looking good. Let's check. Intel reports. Uh, I lost 9. He lost 12. I lost 6 Kitty Hawks. He, lo he loses 5 zeros. 2 Lilies, 2 Sallies. I lost 2 Air Cobras. He lost a Topsy, Dyna, Mary, and a Babs. And I lost a Lodestar. Alright, let's check. Ops reports. Nothing too much. Couple of ships at LA need to be put in the shipyard for a turn. Second Australian Cavalry Brigade's device has been upgraded. Second Loyal Battalion at Aden is going to be. Yeah, it is just another. Like the Gordon's Battalion is just another one of those. Uh, second reports. Nothing usable. Should start. Oh, so these guys, yeah. So I have a couple guys here. Oh, no, these, these are the ones that are loading to go to Colombo. And then and the next turn I'll have, be able to start unloading these troops. I'm just going to keep these units in place. He has to... I'll gladly just tie up troops with them. Uh, defense and depth is starting to take shape. Some units are getting back into their positions. And then I got more intel on these guys. He has 112,000 men with 33 units. Probably 8 divisions or so total. He also has 140 fighters and 77 bombers back here. It's going to be a hell of a bloodbath. I'm going to win by defense and depth. He's going to have to push me back each and every way. I might actually have to mainly focus on Pegu. Because if I just defend at Rangoon, he can just go up into Mandalay. So I'm probably going to have to have strong focus on Pegu, actually. So it's probably a good idea to realize that now before well, I can still move units there and he's still gonna have to take Rangoon but he won't be able to as easily cut it off from Burma and be able to take the rest of Burma um let's see nothing over there to do don't think there's anything down here looks like some fuel has gone through gone around Adelaide is dispersing it out and my units are completely unloaded at Port Moresby now which is great and then dropping off a little bit of supply that was on there it's not much supply though probably gonna move another Warhawk squadron in and replace one of these squadrons Yeah, these guys got beat up bad. And the weather must have been terrible because I got no recon over here at all this turn. Uh, down here. One more turn. These guys will start unloading at Christmas. And I'll probably stop that waypoint just so they can get to Penryn a little bit faster. These guys are coming up. Uh, anything on the east coast? No. What are these destroyers? I should probably look. Wicks and Wicks. Yeah, still have plenty of stuff I can bring over. It's going to be a little while because I got to refit all my destroyers. 
into being competent. Uh, these two subs will go to San Diego, get repaired, then I can finally use them after them arriving ages ago. Um, not really sure there is anything else to go over. He is probably about to get into the hex of Banduang. He is in Makassar. And I'll just, just keep pulling out my Makassar Garrison Battalion. Get some rifle squads, maybe that mortar, some supports. And then we do the same at Kendari. Go for the base force to get the aviation support first. Engineers as well. And then Kendari, the base force to get a little bit of AA and a little bit of mortar. Mortars. Yeah, not not too much is really the Burma campaign is heating up heavily. I need my bombers to fly this turn though. Because he can't effectively protect these guys. And if I can hold here long enough to where he can't take at take it easy. And I'll just be able to keep bombing him and disrupting him so he can't attack effectively. I may do a complete reorganization of here. So Chinese Corps has got to stay here. Indian Brigade. Half its combat troops are still disabled. And I can't send those guys into combat. I really don't want to send these battalions in because they're just going to die really easily. Man, these are some great troops, but they're really easily able to die. Alright, I think I'm going to end the video here, guys. So I will see you guys in the next one.